practice black and white. Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, I just wanted to share this issue that the new Galaxy S10 devices are having with their Bluetooth connectivity. So I've got this Galaxy S10 5G with me uh, and it won't connect to my car. So I've got a Subaru Liberty 2012 uh, and the car has been absolutely great with my Bluetooth connectivity. I've never had any issues with my older phone uh, and my friend's phone, it always connects fine. But for some reason, it when I try to connect my s10 5g it would only connect as a phone but not as an audio device so um i was um, on call with the samsung customer support for almost an hour and a half they've tried fixing everything and what they've told me they said they are aware of this issue apparently it's happening to a lot of devices so i just wanted to get this word out there so uh, if you are looking to buy this device so you can keep it in mind um, before you make your decision because I don't know what's going to happen. What's the future? They haven't really given me any definitive answer how they're going to fix it. Hopefully there's a software patch that can fix it or something. But anyway, I will show you what I'm talking about. So I will try to connect it to my car right now. So let's just uh, see here. I'm going to click register to register a new device. So now it's going to, let's just make it scan again. Make sure I've got the fresh entry on my phone and here we go we got Robin Subaru there so it's gonna ask for the pin and that's that okay so as you can see it's gonna say connecting and it's gonna initially connect for both call and audio but then all of a sudden it's gonna drop audio there we go that's what it does and when you go there hang on let's uh, try to connect it again and if you see here I've got it on the screen Galaxy S10 5G so it's connected as only a phone but not as um not as a and see now it won't even connect to it that's just sweet so i'm trying to connect to it a bluetooth in my car is on but it won't connect so <laughs> yeah look let's just unpair it and i'll try to pair it one more time i'll just delete this device off my car right now let's just delete it and then register again so here's my phone let's try it's pairing it's gonna ask for the code okay it's connecting connected for call and audio and there we go the audio is gone so if you go into the settings as you can see here the audio button is disabled and if you try to click click on it it goes there and then it just slides back off so yeah so that's the problem with the new galaxy devices um uh, Samsung's obviously trying to keep it uh, sort of hidden. Obviously, they don't want people to know that it's happening. Uh, there are a few online forums. Um, they're discussing it, but nobody has had any luck with fixing this issue. And it's super annoying. You get in your car. The only thing you want to do is listen to your music to just forget about your problem in the day. And you can't even do that. So, yeah, if you are going to buy this phone, um, keep that in mind. <laughs> and uh, I'll uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.